I built this sawhorse here um, while well, back with my buddy, and I need to get a cross piece to go to rest in it. Um, I'll just leave it there to rest the logs on that I use. And to do that, I'm going to use my axe and go out and get a piece of wood. Not necessarily fell a dead tree for it. it might be on the ground already. It doesn't need to be anything uh, special. I'm just going to uh, go around and look for that piece right now. That was easy enough. Move. Go on, buddy. I could use my saw, but what's the fun in that, right? Watch out, Scout. I'm always looking out for the dog. He, if you've all, you've probably noticed he's always in the way, always running around the axe. I'm very conscious of where he is at the time I'm using my axe. He's chasing the, the wood chip. serve as a cross piece so I can rest my wood on top of that and have it at a better angle for myself higher up. So I'm just walking through the woods here. I'm going to use my axe a lot today. I'm going to try to anyways. I want to uh, practice a little bit on chopping on bigger stuff. My area there's a lot of dead ash around um, and they've fallen. So I'm not going to take down a tree or anything. I'm going to find one that's fallen. It's up off the ground some and I'm going to uh, just kind of buck it up. I might use the pieces for something, might not. Just uh, just for some practice. Go. Cool. I'm gonna want to cut the notch wide. And what I read the other day is try to hit it in the same spot every time. That way it works better for you. Let's go, go on. I'm not all the way through it yet, obviously. I'm up quite a, quite a bit of ways through. I haven't thrown that many chips. But the ones that I have thrown are quite large. As big as my hand, you know. Nice and big. I saw a video a while ago. Someone was saying, Use your axe kneeling down if you're doing this kind of thing. Now you want big dinner plate size chips. Well, that's all fine and good if you're using uh, really soft wood. That was just down, green soft wood, fine, yeah. Throw it one handed and get dinner plates. But this is iron wood uh, or maple, I'm not sure. I think it's iron wood. It's hard wood, as you can see. It takes It's taken me a long time get through it I don't think that you could do that sitting or kneeling down and take you a hell of a lot longer so just just something to think of when you hear people giving advice and whatnot you got to take everything into consideration I'm not chopping Aspen here on my knees you know it's it's a lot harder than that well as you can see now I'm switching sides this side's predominantly done and I worked up a sweat, so I lost a layer. There, that's 
side's done. Now, I'm gonna chop it down that side. All right, now the fun part will be carrying that back to camp. I was wrong in saying it was ironwood. The tree is elm. That's a dead elm right in front of me too. And it has the same holes in, in the wood from the bugs. as that and a little bit of the bark left over uh, right there. So it's an elm, I'm not sure what kind. This is one of the logs that I use to work on like ax work and use, use for a uh, base for shavings and stuff. And it, it uh, outlines my camp. I've got one there and then one on the other side. So that one's getting pretty beat up as you could, as you just saw. So I think with that log that I just chopped or that I bucked up or that big piece, I'm gonna replace this log here. Got my use out of it. Watch out. Brand new log to chop on. Moving on up in the world, guys. Wood is full of these little grubs. Oops, little grubs in the wood. I'm not sure what they are. All right guys, this video is done. I just wanted to say, um, by no means am I an expert. I use an ax as much as I can. I like using it. Um, what I use works for me. Uh, might be different for you. So uh, get out there and try it for yourself. All right.